Izzy, Landon, Jaden, Layla is here. We're waiting on Zaid. So the Holy Roman Catholic Empire, neither holy nor Roman nor Catholic nor an empire. Discuss. This here definitely feels like it's going faster than it should. I turn 18 in March, and then I graduate in May, and I don't think I realize just how close all these big things are together. I have been working with and mentoring to get them ready for the competition. But it's kind of like in theater, when you're the director and the show goes up, you're done. My students are ready. They're ready to go. We're like 30 minutes away. I just try to calm myself down. I try to think, you know this, don't overthink it. And I really want to win. Oh, my dog's still here. Hi. Hold my farm right here in Tyler County. We have never moved. And we have a lot of woods around us. This is a hauler, so it's between two ridges. So that's a ridge line and this is a ridge line. Even though they're not mountains, we'll still call it a hauler. Hi, Black. <laughs> Sistersville was a town founded in the oil boom. The oil and gas companies, they bought the rights to the land. It's pipeline, oil trucks, it's well sites, mineral rights, and that's an issue. It's a lot of traffic. The bridge, it has sank like two inches from the trucks. It's not good for the environment, but we can't just rip it out of out from under us. We don't have a fallback. <laughs> so it's not a great, oh, it's raining. Yes, it's always been funding our county. They give the school the money off the tax returns and they spend it on things like our football field. They redid all of our sports facilities. The field alone, I think, costed $9.5 million. We wouldn't have any of this without their funding. Gentlemen, do you all have your ties? Did you get one? You got your tie. You got a tie, you got a tie. We are currently at the end of October and anxiously awaiting the District 2 competition here in West Virginia for We the People. This is so intricate. This, this is our opening. Yep. Okay. okay. That is your opening statement. This is questions. Yes. Okay. Last week, somebody said, we compete in a month. We kind of all just short circuited for a minute. Like the whole classroom went silent. And we're all like, oh my God. We we're freaky out. We're like, this can't be right, right? And then we're like, no. Let's do that. We broke with the Catholic Church in the 1530s. This whole thing here, why don't we take that out? We don't have like a whole lot of time. And I just feel like I'm underprepared. I think if you want to answer a question, hands go on the table. You're done, you take them off. Who's timing? Ready, begin. The people that are currently still afraid of a strong central government mm -hmm. uh, are usually scared of losing their state's rights. Good. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to be the one person whose fault it is that we didn't make it to states. Hey, everybody. Also, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Right now. 
What I need you to do is focus on me. Yeah. What? <laughs> a few reminders. Does anyone need a permission slip? Excellent. They're going to come open. What? You told me. I said it. You still said throw it. Can I figure out how to do this instead of those note cards? Because this will be just as challenging. <laughs> Giving up on learning how to GI. Yeah. <sighs> I am trying to energize them and rallying that kind of energy is, is tough right now because there is a lot going on. And some of them are not in a good area, not in a good mental space. Um, and when you try to put more learning into a brain that already has an amygdala that is going 500 miles an hour, it's hard to calm that down and focus on the competition. I want you all to remember one thing. You all have your intelligences, and I really want you to show that. I want you to show these judges how good you are. Your personalities must shine through, all of you. Got it? Do you need anything else from inside besides the eggs? I don't think so. OK, I will be back. I live with my Uncle Kerr and his girlfriend. There are three children. And they have another little boy on the way. And he's had eight slices of bacon. <laughs> I love bacon. I know. I love bacon. My mom moved up to Moundsville. There's more jobs in bigger places. I just finished out my school year here. My mom, I'm very close with. And it was really hard for her to move away because we're very dependent on each other. This is very, very personal, but um, when I was 10 years old, my dad had gotten into a lot of trouble and I had to be sat down. My mom explained to me that uh, he had made some bad choices and that he is addicted to drugs. He was going to have to go away for a little while. We had my birthday moved up a month, so I didn't have to see him go to jail. Then he missed my 10th. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th birthday. I stepped up and helped my mom with my brother. By the time I was 10, I was doing my laundry all by myself. Uh, 12, I started paying my phone bill. Today, my dad lives five hours away, and he works for a carpentry company. I was raised to be very independent. Boom, boom. I am quite thirsty by the fire. Everything's warm. <laughs> My toes are also cold. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm saying. Don't worry, Mamma. We got you, Mamma. Aiden, do you know my dad dated your mom really? after high school? You know that my mom I thought I was on fire for a second. Bob Riggs? Do you know that my grandma dated Bob Riggs? <laughs> Who has it? Your grandma dated. Hey, hey. <laughs> Pretty much everybody in my grade, you know them from the moment you were born. So I bet you your parents are friends. And you go through 
elementary school, preschool, kindergarten, middle school, high school together. Then you graduate. Then if you don't leave this area, you're gonna know them the rest of your life too. I saw somebody drink the Ohio water, River water. Uh -uh. They're gonna come out like glowing. Oh, yeah, I don't even go on like boats anymore. They're gonna look like Lilo. We were drinking the tap water, but it tasted so bad, we just put Kool-Aid stuff in it and drank it. Yeah, one time. Water went bad and I had been drinking it yep. for Taste weeks it. and nobody told me. That's why I don't get sick, guys. Yeah. I'm just built different. We connect through trauma. We have similar experiences and it's nice being able to talk to somebody and being able to be vulnerable with them instead of having to have this like, oh, I'm perfectly fine. It's nice to have someone that you can be like, yeah, I'm not doing so well. I think in the United States and in other countries, there's a lot of people who are looking out for their own interests, who are looking out to improve their own financial situations. I try not to let all the issues that our world is facing right now eat away at me. I really want to be a lawyer someday and eventually a politician because politics to me is about finding the ways in which we can produce a better world. Unit six, so these are your stands. You guys are official congressional experts now. We're preparing for district now, and if we do well enough, we'll qualify for the state competition. And if we do well at state, we'll be lucky enough to go to Washington, D.C for the national competition. All right, everybody, I think we're ready to get started here. All rise. Today, we're doing a dress rehearsal. We're gonna be having some pretty prominent figures in here. Some people who have judged for We the People before. whenever you are ready. Our base human temperaments necessitate the establishment of a constitutional government. Defined by the, the way this competition works is four minutes is going to be a prepared speech that we've been practicing for the last few months. system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. Former Attorney General William Barr used legal maneuvers to avoid pressing charges against the You had something prepared. You give your speech, and now you are basically cross-examined. What would you say to somebody that says, government doesn't listen or the government doesn't represent me. Today's age, many people feel that way. I can empathize with the idea that our voices are not being completely heard. And our hardest part of the hearings is definitely cross-examination because there's no preparing for it. Obviously, you can work up your content knowledge, but at the end of the day, you really never know what kinds of questions the judges are gonna ask. Let's go Israel and Palestine. What are your thoughts about the rules that are specifically being broken in this war? The judges asked a few questions about the Israel-Palestine conflict, which I really think caught some of the units off guard. We see with Palestine and Gaza, when President Joe Biden said that the Israeli people beheaded for I believe it was 40. Uh, clubs, like clubs in support of Palestine or clubs in support of, uh, and of. Uh... If they receive a news article alert the day of, they might ask you about it. So you're gonna have to give them the impression that you know what you're talking about, even if you're a little insecure about the topic. So you can't, you can't falter. Guys, every single one of the Israeli-Palestine conflict, what is happening? Um, brush up on that. Just bring more current events to life. Practice, 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 practice. Anyone who will listen to you, talk to them. Go over it, go over it, go over it. 
I was thinking about the other schools, like how much knowledge do they have? Are they having the same um, emotions as us? Like, are they also nervous? The idea of gridlock is perhaps the Senate doing its job too well. The Senate was intended to be the more deliberative body, but these days, due to the filibuster, all of the stuff that the House tries to pass gets locked up in the Senate and is unable to progress any further. I'd also like to elaborate that the existence of the filibuster incredibly demotivates compromise. Are We the People team is one of the best in the nation. I think that's pretty universally agreed on. So it's like, what if we don't win? Like, what if the other teams beat us and we're the ones who let down this multiple decades long reputation of always winning? It's a lot of pressure. What you did wrong was you skipped the answer and then talked about the effects of the historical precedent. The Caden then immediately started with the answer to the question. So you guys adjusted well throughout yeah. the round. Make sure you know um, about like Tommy Tuberville and like unspoken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Caden, also, you have your answer about um, the filibuster was good, but you could have answered it in less words. Are we reading Don't our paper? filibuster Do in a thing about yeah. filibustering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy. Calm down. One of the other states we're watching closely is Virginia, where the legislative race, race is in Virginia. In November Senate Senate. District 16, Democrats Gather Von Valkenburg closely scrutinized across the country for hints of what might come in next year's 2024 presidential cycle. Hope you don't mind. I'm, I'm solving parts here crossword. All of the easy ones are gone. Little Wonder, eh, Steve? Oh, Stevie Wonder. What's the plan today? Precincts all day. And then see you at the, hopefully at the victory party uh, tonight. With, yes, I will uh, be with there. With your sisters. Mm -hmm. So how about yourself? Vote and bring the sisters to the party. That's basically my whole day. All right, voting, first time voting. Yes. How are you feeling about it? You're voting for me, right? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Today is obviously the election day, but it's also my 18th birthday, which is cool. <laughs> my birthday's on election day every six years. I was born on election day, turned six on election day, turned 12 on election day, 18, and presumably in the future, 24, 30, and all of those other birthdays that follow. I'm relieved that it's almost over. Do you know who to vote for for all the local races? Not all of the candidates, no, not off the top of my head. You better check that before you go vote. Okay. Duly noted. Okay. <laughs> I will look it up. Good morning. You know, I am 18. I am now legally an adult, which means I have to handle a lot of things now that I didn't have to deal with before. I get to vote for once. But it's a mixture of like, Excitement from like getting to vote and also just kind of like, kind of slight disappointment that my dad's not there for it, but eh, expectation, it happens. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. <laughs> How's it going, sir? Skyler Van Valkenburg, we'd love to earn your vote for uh, state senate. Hey, uh, you love to earn your vote. Skyler. Democrat. Yep. You got it. How have the doors been? How have the doors been? <laughs> We've spent the last year knocking on thousands upon thousands of doors and spending a lot of money on advertising. But uh, at the end of the day, it's not in your hands, right? It's in the voters' hands. Every race is tied. I've never seen races like this. Everything is tied. Yeah, so we have no idea what's going to happen. Yep, I am very nervous for my dad. I mean, it's stressful that he might not win, but we'll see. So we do have some information that is coming in. In Senate District 16, Democrat Skyler von Valkenburg is the projected winner over Republican Storm. Sure, it means I don't get to celebrate as much my birthday on the actual day, but I don't blame him for having the election take priority because that's a thing that's much bigger in the grand scheme of things. Uh, anybody that's in public service knows that you can't do it without your family. I don't think they've seen me for a weekend in like a year. Yeah. Uh, and so I get to have a weekend with them this weekend and we get to celebrate victory. <laughs> Pizza. Kids pepperoni roll. 
will put that in for you. I'd give it probably about 40 minutes. Would you like a Mountain Dew to drink? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. No sweet tea. I felt always very lost when anyone would ask me the question of, what are you going to do when you grow up? Bog's Pizza. In my sophomore year of high school, a girl in the Weave the People class said, you know, you would make a, a really good OBGYN. I said, why do you say that? And she said, you're just someone you could trust. And I said, I think I would love that. 411. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Matt, why don't you show your video? It's 2338. This is two full weeks of work, and that's six shifts, so that's 18 hours. Yep, same. Mine's 26, so 2328 for 16 hours worth of work. 15. But that doesn't include tips. Yeah. I feel like. My mom has made a huge sacrifice by raising us on our own. So I need to be something extraordinary. I'm really looking forward to getting that higher education because it's exciting. No one in my family's really experienced that. My parents did not go to college. None of my grandparents went to college. It's very anxiety inducing, but it's definitely something I know that has to happen. How is the stress level right now? <laughs> it's my uh, stress level? Hi. Yes. Why? College. If it relates to college in some way, I'm stressed about it. FAFSA not going to come out until like December 31st. Makes me lose it. Makes me, Makes me lose it. I'm going to say not nice things about FAFSA. Stress is FAFSA. <laughs> FAFSA is like top three stressors. Don't worry. We'll get there. I know it's kind of stressful if you're. I think many of them stay up late at night worried about college. How am I going to pay for it? And with FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid being pushed back to December of 2023, there's a lot of frayed nerves of where is my tuition money going to come from? Because they simply don't have it. I'm enrolled at WVU. And I contacted them and asked them if they would waive my fees because I could not pay out of pocket right now. And they said no, and they have a deadline of November to secure your spot. You had to pay those deposits. Fees of food passes, parking, and housing, it's going to be around $75,000 for six years of college. That doesn't seem like a crazy amount for six years of college, but in West Virginia's economy, it especially is very expensive. Are you looking forward to the competition? Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. I want to do really good, and I want to get to nationals, internationals, whatever it's the, high, the highest level. Like, I want to go all the way and do good, but I'm also like, I need a break. <laughs> yeah. All right. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Thank let's you. practice as if we are really doing this thing. That is what rehearsal is. Uh, the judges walk in. Justices walk in. There you go. And go. The Philadelphia Convention was called to order on May 25th, 1787 to address the weak central government that existed under the Articles of Confederation. Even though we want to have an easy senior year, the only way we're going to get into the good colleges we want is if we take these higher level classes. But these classes are harder to maintain those good grades. We have to worry about keeping up with jobs. What college am I going to get into? What happens if I don't get into college? There's just so much heavy stuff that you kind of just want to shut down. You just want to back off from it. As of right now, what keeps me up the most at night is, what if I don't get into my program at WVU? It's a very competitive program. So if I don't get in, there's very few alternatives for me going into chiropractics. That's why I took so many college and AP classes this year, because 
um, in middle school during COVID, I struggled a lot with my, <laughs> sorry. I struggled a lot with my grades. I ended up having to uh, do a day of summer school to get my Spanish grade up to a D to pass. And at the time I was like, it's whatever, they won't care about all my college transcript. But now I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that has more impact than I thought it did. So I wish I could just go back and kick myself in the butt and be like, get it together. <laughs> I have to make up for that. I have to show them how good I can do now so that they can see that I'll succeed in their programs. I know they're struggling, just like I'm struggling. We all have our crosses to bear. Hi. About a year ago, my mother got really sick and is now confined to a wheelchair. And my father got sick shortly after. I need to take care of them. Weighing that with my schoolwork, that can sometimes be tricky. Sometimes I don't feel like I've been the best teacher. I'm overwhelmed. And I'm on the verge of burnout. And um, I probably won't be returning next year. So that is something not a lot of people know. As hard as it is going to be to step away from the classroom, I think I need to do it in order to become better. I did, I brought my pencil. Whenever I asked Mr. Shubaugh if the pink would be too much, he went, no, I love it. Show your personality. Yes. I'm just to wear a tie. My mom would never let me wear a tie. I, I know. You should. Oh, this is what I'm wearing for We the People. <laughs> be like, Mr. Shubaugh, are these appropriate? <laughs> you think I can wear these? <laughs> wear, them, wear them on the bus. I actually think I might bring them to joke. Wear them um, into the building. Other countries are not following this, and this just undermines the idea of implementing it at all. Um, I would like to piggyback off of Naya and Jonathan. Ukraine wants to be part of NATO because if they were part of NATO and Russia attacked them, then all the other allied forces of NATO would have to do something about the issue. But people delayed that way before the war started. And then close to when the war started, they were like, oh, we don't want to ratify you while you're in the middle of war. And then, um... Not really. Okay, okay, I have to go. Wrap it up, please. Okay. Oh, um, okay. We were waiting for you. Oh. Daddy, Chris, wake up. Yeah, okay. you fall asleep. No, but I'll come have us. to help this out. Hey, Vicky, take this. Give me that one. Okay, here's red. I'm a little nervous. Why? Okay, well, nerves are expected, but We've got this. Slow down. <gasps> Don't talk too fast. You already know what you're gonna no. say. When Mr. Giuliano told us to beef up on Israel oh Palestine, it just explained the conflict from a neutral point of view, which I do appreciate because a lot of people aren't willing to do that. In order for people to view Palestinians as anything other than terrorists, I think America needs to view them as a neutral party first. I don't think anybody's viewing them as just terrorists. Ah, They're saying a mass. Ah, America has a history of demonizing ethnic groups. As black people, we should know that. No. 
Yes. You can't lump everybody together. I didn't lump anyone together. So you're saying the U.S. Okay. The U.S. government Sorry. or the U.S. people? When I say U.S., I'm only ever referring to the government. If I want to say U.S. people, I'll say U.S. people. Listen, in, in every analysis, you know what I advise people? No, no, you're not advising people on anything. My dad, as a lecturer and just as himself, he could go on for hours. Literally, whenever we would get like in trouble when we were younger, we'd always end up laughing by the end of it when he was done with his lectures because we're like, oh my gosh, dad, okay, it's been two hours. We get it, we get it. I understand your perspective. I'm just saying I have an entirely different perspective after two years of conclusive research. And that two years of research show you that the uh, United States has a tendency to demonize ethnicities that they do not agree with, yes. Mm. Wow. Mm. Things that make you go, mm. But what I told my student is, paint clear history. I did. Because every time I hear people say, Israel took the Palestinian okay, people's Dad. land. Dad. Does Israel have claim to the land? No. Okay. They do, though. The, the Jewish Do not people. intertwine an entire ethnicity with their state. Did you not just tell me not to confuse the US government with the US people? So, you Jesus. can't. Stop. Who is from the tribe of Jews? I'm telling you not okay. to make. It's from Palestine. No, no, no. Hello, no, hello. Okay, no more politics. We're not just oh, no. This is a matter of anthropology. No You're more debate. Hey, no okay. one want to just decorate the tree okay. and light it. Okay. So Let's yes. light the tree. Vicky, you get the kitchen light. Make Elizabeth go back. Okay, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, what? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? <laughs> oh my god! Where's the other light? That's oh, it's going along. I would have said. Oh, Chris, there's two things to plug in. Oh. Where's the other light? Three, three two, two, two. two. Twenty twenty three. It does. That looks nice. Nine one one emergency. Oh. How many shots have you heard? Like, like five. I'm hiding under my desk. I closed my door. It's locked. Have you heard anything else before or after? I heard some screaming. Okay. <laughs> Who else is in the office with you? It's me. My boss is working from home. News out of Las Vegas. Police say they have responded to reports of an active shooter on the campus of the University of Nevada, Las Being Vegas. Told to avoid the area, avoid the area of the University of Las Vegas campus. We're going to bring you more information as it comes Send in. Out a tweet to students saying, "Quote: This is not a test. Run, hide, fight." We're learning more about the shooter who killed three people and injured one yesterday. Uh, we will expect to hear more from police in just a couple of hours, just about 90 minutes from now. You'll watch it here live on NBC News Now. To the issue of gun safety, the president says this year alone, our nation has experienced more than 600 mass so shootings. That's so crazy, 40,000 deaths due to gun More than violence. any year in history. That's what I'm saying. My family called me like three times. They were like, hey, there's been a shooting at UNLV. I was like, oh my God, well, is dad okay? I'm like, no, 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 dad's okay. He canceled class, he's not in class. But it was just very eerie because we had another mass shooting at a concert in Vegas and it was like one of the biggest. Everybody is desensitized because it always happens. So what's the point about talking about it? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ethan. Happy birthday to you. Make your wish. 
Hey. Hey. <laughs> 18 year old boy. <laughs> I try to be optimistic for the, the future of the country, but when things like these happen, especially when they're so close to my community, it, it's, it's difficult for me at times. You don't ever think, wow, that, that happened to me until it actually does. When I was in middle school, I used to be more of a gun right absolutist. I think I wrote a paper in seventh grade advocating for uh, Americans to own automatic firearms. But I will say that I think my, my viewpoints have become a little more nuanced now. Not that I've jumped over to the other side, but seeing things like this uh, make me evaluate my position a little bit more. When the district competition happens, I think it's going to be tough uh, because I feel like the judges might ask us to take a position on it, which could be pretty difficult. Students, remember, deep breaths throughout the day. Breathing relaxes your shoulders and helps you to know the answers because you know all of this. So please, go forth and enjoy the day. Thank you all very much. Ready to crush this? Like, you being yourself is, is going to be amazing, OK? You are prepared. You have the right attitude. You guys are awesome and amazing, so just go with it. I feel just nervous. It's just dread and nervousness. I just want to make sure that all the hard work that I've put in, it was worth it. There are lots of good schools here today, but our main competition is Canyon Springs. No matter how we do, you remember this for the rest of your life. They have the same level of passion as us. And so we just got to go that extra mile. Each school has six units. The judges score each unit, and then all the points are added up to see who wins. Please have a seat, everybody. We're delighted to be here with Southwest Career Technical Academy. Could, could you focus for me a little bit on what protects the independence of the judiciary under our Constitution? It is scary going first because you're like, oh my gosh, you're just scrambling to get an answer out. The judiciary branch is seen as a nonpartisan, independent form of government, although that sometimes is slightly disregarded. The landmark court case, Marbury v. Madison, established the judiciary plays a large um, branch. The judiciary branch plays a large role uh, in all future cases. We are all working towards the same goal, and we literally share our points. You know, somebody else's failure is our failure as well, and somebody else's success is our success. It's just a matter of not even who tried the hardest, but how do the judges perceive it? How do the judges receive it? Are we ready? Do you think that law enforcement should be given certain uh, latitude with respect to Fourth Amendment issues? During this week, there was a mass shooting at UNLV. And I feel like government officials, like police, they should have a bit more power for the safety of their students and of the community overall. Having my dad at the competition was a lot of pressure because I really want to show him everything I know. But you really never know what 
kinds of questions the judges are going to ask. Let me ask you this. Has the power of judicial review gone too far and been too unrestrained? The power of judicial review has gone too far. We have reached a point in our country where Supreme Court justices' interpretations of the Constitution tend to align with their political ideology. This is completely contradictory to the original intention of the framers under the Constitution. Do you believe that the president should be able to pardon himself and or his family members as part of that power? Absolutely not. Well, <laughs> well, there is no uh, explicitly stated wording in the Constitution. This definitely undermines the original intentions of the founders when creating that presidential power. This would definitely undermine the rule of law and decrease the trust of voters in our country. Thank you all. Oh my goodness, give your wow. hand. Job, you guys. Okay. You have all these really awesome moments, but you never see your competition. So uh, we can get really excited that we're doing well, but we don't really know how many of those moments other teams are having. Everybody, hands in the air, hands in the air, whether the weather is cold. Whether the weather is cold. Or whether the weather is hot. Or whether the weather is hot. We'll be together whatever the weather. We'll be together whatever the weather. Whether we like it or not. Whether, whether we like it or not. Yay! Yay. 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 Quietly. Sally on three. No. This is a really wonderful law school, and it's really wonderful that we get to be part of this experience. What's this high school? Uh, and you're? Robert C. Byrd. Okay, okay. We're competing against Robert C. Byrd. They have kicked our butt every single year. Okay, unit two, you guys are up. You want to go ahead and get in place? Guys, I'm actively peeing my pants right now. <laughs> guys, what if I puke? I ask you don't puke off me. All right. Seated. Were there any historical events that influenced Brutus I and Federalist 10 regarding factions? For me, anxiety and nervousness does not set in until I am sitting in the chair, standing on the stage. I'm going to mess up our time limit. I'm going to look like an idiot. Did you, please, did you repeat the question, please? Yeah, were there any significant historical events that influenced the views presented in Brutus I? <clears throat> I get nervous kicking myself that I should have gone over this more or that more. You basically are watching them get groped, so I felt like really bad when they were in the hot seat. How does the concept of freedom of association uh, relate to this concept of factionalism? Mr. Shubal said, he's like, you're freaking out now, but once they ask you, you'll, you'll know what to say. I got this. Freedom of association um, with that it means we're allowed to associate with our freedom of assembly. We are allowed to form these factions. An example of this today would be personal privacy versus In today's society, security. our factions or special interest groups generally considered beneficial. Faction or interest group currently is those who are supportive of gun control. Are there any enduring lessons or insights from Brutus? In Brutus 10, they speak of how Congress should not be in states, uh, as they fear that that will take away from the individual. Take a look into our personal lives, lives, forming the political parties we have today, and then, adversely, they can form contradictory groups. 
You can finish your uh, contradictory groups that harmed our federal institutions in the past. Comments? Wonderful job. Um, yeah. You guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, them did really well. I was really proud of all of them that went. But I am like nervous because Robert C. Burke is infamous for being the winner for like the last five years. So I think the Protestant Reformation started the process, uh, albeit very slowly. Or uh, other court cases, and then they should have their own world perspective outside of that. I think everyone should have the equal opportunity to get the same education, and I think the Constitution needs to protect that. may be seated. Can you provide an example of a provision in an international constitution that you think that the United States should consider adopting? Well, I'm not familiar on other parts of the world and their particular government as someone who believes in women's rights. I feel like in the last year, it's been a hot topic of Roe versus Wade. We have had not only a human right taken away from us, but an individual right. And I think when we can- I know many women in my life who have had abortions, and they're the strongest women I know. And to take away that option, if they wouldn't have had those, they wouldn't have been where they are today. When it comes to we the people in this competition, the thing that they will bring is their life experience. I don't want anyone to tell Layla Williamson human rights don't matter because she will tell you human rights matter. I'm very proud to be from a country where my rights are reflected in my power to vote. Deep breath. Well done. <laughs> you did a nice job and it was nice to personalize your answers and how it impacts you. Uh, I feel very well educated by you. Delightful young ladies, thank you. We're gonna put five more minutes on the clock and we're gonna do some more questions because we enjoyed it so much. Uh, well done. Um, I just must say to you, you, you know, you can't let this be some classroom activity. Uh, with all the knowledge uh, that you have, with the, with the brain power that you have, uh, please continue to use those leadership skills uh, in your school and in your community uh, and in our state. Uh, we wish you the very best and uh, thank you. Thank you. We're going to the states. I hope so. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. said that was the best team. For Iris, always We won't hesitate any longer. The We the People, the Citizen, and the Constitution, first place in Unit 6, Congressional District 2, goes to Tyler County, Consultant. <laughs> first place for Unit 5 goes to Robert C. Byrd High School. First place for Unit 4, Robert C. Byrd. Robert C. Byrd. Robert C. Byrd. The District 2 champion for the We the People and the Citizen Constitution goes to Robert C. Byrd High School. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. I felt 
disappointed in myself because I felt like I did so good. And I just felt short. But I'm doing things I didn't think I was capable of. And it kind of just, it makes me a little more proud of myself. Just because we didn't win a trophy doesn't mean we didn't win the day. Yay! I'm more concerned that 20 of my best students show the world that they know how our government works, how to be an active participant, and how to be a good human being. I'm one of the people who did not know the three branches of government. Like, did not know any of the amendments. I did not know who our senators were. <laughs> I just, I've always kind of steered clear of politics, and this has kind of shown a light, like, wow. As an American, I need to know a lot more about what's going on in my government, and it has definitely convinced me I need to vote. Whatever happens in there, hold your head high, okay? You guys did something special today, all right? Um, I'm proud of you. Your parents are proud of you, okay? And, you know, all these judges were impressed by you. All right, so there was only like five points difference between first place and sixth place. But that tells you how close it was. So you were all phenomenal. All righty. <laughs> Qualifying team, first place. Southwest. This is, this is a result of hard work from August to now. So now we take this momentum and see how far we can get.